In my teens, I wanted to be a sound engineer and I realised quite quickly whilst I was doing my music technology degree at De Montford University that I wanted to create my own music. You know, when I was 18 or 19, a friend asked me to write some music for his theatre company. I thought, oh, there's a, maybe a career here. My relationship with the Old Vic began through first doing the sound design and the music for the Leeds Playhouse production of Jitney last year. Jitney is just one of those plays that when you read it, even though it's a long play, you're kind of just carried along with the pace of the script. Despite its intimate setting, it's got this huge epic sort of feeling kind of running through it. It's very funny, it's very sad, it covers a huge spectrum of human experience and emotion and it just feels like a complete classic as soon as you pick it up and even though it's kind of set in the 70s you know really feel like it still has power and resonance today as well. I think when I pick up a script for the first time and think about what the music's going to do in the play obviously I have my own ideas but often you're taking inspiration and you're talking a lot to the director and you're taking inspiration from all the different departments to kind of get the angle of you know, where we're all coming from. We've got to kind of remember that and a lot of what people are going to be getting emotionally from the play is going to come from the actors. So you don't want to step on what the actors are doing, you just want to support or point towards what's going to be important for the play. I love the collaborative environment that you get in the theatre and also the number of different influences you know, that you're kind of inspired by, whether it be the movement or what's happening with the actors, the set, the lights, so you're responding to a huge amount of um, stimuli, so it's very exciting. Yeah, when we first started talking about the music, me and the director, Tanuki Craig, we were interested in music of the period, so a lot of the early drafts of the music had a kind of disco 70s kind of feeling to it but it sort of became obvious quite quickly that what was going to be a bit more interesting and kind of more rich was kind of harking back to a sound that's kind of got a slightly more jazz influenced style. You know, between each of the scene changes, we have these amazing projections that, that kind of go around the outside of, um, of the set. It sort of takes us out of the single room that we're in and, and kind of gives a flavor of the life of what Pittsburgh was like in the 70s. I'd say that the sound score for Jitney is vibrant, it's got sadness in it, but it's got a lot of life too.